They say the early bird gets the worm. But you knew that. You've been the early bird for years. But sometimes you still can't see it coming. Those little setbacks. Well, I say, get out of my way, setbacks. You've got to let me fly. Introducing Hulkman. Capable of starting up to an 8.5 liter gas engine immediately. You simply connect the device clamps to the corresponding battery lead. The Alpha 85S delivers an amazing. With quick charge technology, an 18 month battery life, and the same reliability as dad, let Hulkman keep you on the road to the most heart pounding adventures. Just don't wreck dad's muscle car. So now it's up to you, partner with us. Get yourself and your loved ones home safe and never miss those special moments. Hulkman, pioneer power solutions. This video is about an umbrella car shade, basically protects your car from the extreme heat and keeps it nice and cold on the inside. Okay, so maybe it doesn't keep your car cold. On your average summer day, the inside of your car can get up to 120 degrees, sometimes even more. Adding a sunshade can knock 30 degrees off that temperature. It basically looks like an umbrella. And when you expand it, it's the shape of a windshield. Check that out. And it actually comes in three different sizes. Being that my wife drives a RAV4, we got the smaller size. Now I do want to call out that my wife already has a sunshade. It's full of crumbs. But uh, we've had this thing for like 10 years. Just basically fold it open and then you stick it on the dash. The problem is, is that you've got to hold it in place with the visor. And there's like this game where you got to go back and forth and try to hold it with the visor. And it essentially just ends up falling down where we come back out to the parking lot and it's laying down like that. It's still covering the dashboard, but it's not really doing its job. And then folding it back up is kind of like origami. Now with the umbrella design, it basically expands. You might have to duck out of the way a little bit, but you expand it, it locks in place, and you set it on the dash. And just like that, it stays in place. Later on, when you get back to your car, you basically push a button and it collapses. And similar to an umbrella, it's got a Velcro strap. Basically just wrap that thing up, tuck it in your seat. Mini truckers and YouTubers around the world, we've got a good one for you today. We've got a review of the Power Run battery jump box with a G DC charging thing. So you can, I'll show you some cool stuff you can do it. But like we could run 
a fridge in our mini trucks or we could run you know an air compressor stuff like that so here we go we've got the power run it's going to tell us what's there we've got to open this up and then see what we've got in all right so you're going to get some instructions and admittedly the instructions not all that good they didn't even tell you how to run the lights but uh, they said they've got some better ones online so this is how it comes this is actually one of the better carrying cases i've seen because some of them they just have you put the stuff here but like this it actually fits it's a pretty well designed on that regard okay this comes with an AC adapter so the only way to charge this is with this plug okay here's the DC adapter so we can plug this into the machine and then you can run that and like I said we're gonna use a fridge but you could use an air compressor and then they give you a USB-C cable and then you get these the jump wow really pretty heavy so pretty substantial clips and nice springs in there the wires feel thick this one actually has this boost function so some of these a lot of the jump packs won't work on a completely dead battery so if you had like you know two volts it's not going to even pick up that it's on a battery it thinks it's like on a piece of wood or something so with this boost function you can hold that boost function and feed force feed the battery and then uh, get it to recognize some power and then from there the jump starter will work and then here it looks like they got it in a little baggie so this is that we've got a compass on there so in case you get lost with your thing and I can confirm that's accurate as far as being north this is kind of a cool thing so again if you hold it and then you flash they do the SOS they did the strobe but then this one, if you did a double click, you actually get a red light on this one. So you could use it, you know, if you're stranded on the side of the road, uh, do something like that. Okay. This one has the inputs. And like I said, this one, the thing is kind of hard to get off. And then it was hard to close on this other one. So there's, you got the output, you got an output, you got your DC output, and then the charging input. This one has a little screen. And then this is where you plug in the, the uh, jumper cables. So one thing I didn't, well, I guess it went perfect there. So the first time I did it, it took me a while to get that on, but I was probably doing it wrong. Here's some specs. So 66 watt hours, my little fridge, I did the, when I had it, it was like 30 watt hours. So I could run that fridge for two hours. And if you pre-cool it on an AC, you know, at your house, it'll already be cold. So it'll probably give you like four hours of uh, coolness because then it kind of turns into a, a, a freezer or a cooler rather. So I'm going to show you guys that function. We'll go do that and then we'll go do a jump start okay we're here so we plug this in and it looks like it's got some reverse and uh, correct setting so we'll just put it on the correct setting red goes on red here and we'll see if it detects automatic or what happens here okay i'm seeing a green a green indication and a hundred percent so it just says uh that don't press the boost buttons don't connect them together so we're ready to start we should get our super strong start here and my starter is kind of weak so you'll hear it it may drag but when i use this thing it doesn't really drag yeah so just like that we get a good start we'll go out and disconnect Okay, all we gotta do there, and then when you disconnect, you can see it automatically uh, put down the video. 
All right, we're here with the power run. So this is that adapter. You just plug it in there. I got 98%. And then this one comes here to the DC. And this is super cool because it's a DC uh, 12 and 24. But you lose power running through this AC inverter. So if you were running like, you know, uh, through an inverter, not going to work that good. But okay, we can see it's an unregulated uh, 12 volts. So what that means is like as the 12 volts goes down, this 11.6 is going to go 11.5, 11.4, 3.2.1 down uh this one is going down this isn't the most intuitive i forget i always forget how to use it it like locks every time there we go we'll set it so we set, you set the temperature it actually has an app and then it works with the app but uh for now we'll just see how that works it's running down the other cool thing for the mini truckers out there you could do is you know get you an AC inverter plug it into here and then you could plug in you know Christmas lights like those little inflatable you know characters and right around your bed like I've done that before with the mini truck you know you have an eight foot Grinch in the back and you're just like what up and this is like you can do it uh, something like this if you had a DC in your car that could work too but this just gives you more flexibility you know and it, it doubles as like a jump start pack so you don't have to really what kind of waste money so i'm gonna turn this off for a little bit we'll walk away and then we'll come back and see where the voltage is at and see where the temperature is at and make sure nothing uh, bad happens here all right we'll be back all right we're cooling we got it down to 34 degrees we're still at 11.1 .1 volts 82 percent here so hopefully that helps. This is the PAL run. They sent me this for review and it seems like a pretty good one. It's kind of got the different functions, this 12 volt. So it gives you a little more flexibility. Hopefully this helps. Have a good one. Stay mini. Hey guys, I'm very excited to do this review. This is Rysia air compressor. It's a portable air compressor. So let's take a look what is inside the box. All right, so inside the box, we have the air compressor. Wow, this one is tiny. Look at the size of this thing. So let me show you what we get in the box. We have the air compressor. We have the power cable. This one right here is a for a five volt. We have the hose to fill up the tires and all that, which is pretty cool. Oh, here's like a, a little bag, like a carry-on bag, pretty cool. We have like some manuals and we have, right here we have some tips for different things like tires or you can use it for your basketball, your bicycle and all that. To use it, it's very simple. We're just going to connect it to the power right there and right here we have the power already. So let me connect the hose to show you how it works. But not before, let me show you how to set it up. Right here you can have like different measures. Right here you have KPA, kilograms and PCI. This is what we need. Uh, we're gonna set it up to 32 for my car and we're gonna connect the hose. All right, so now that we have it connected, my tire right now is on 28. I need 32, so let's turn it on. I'm just amazed of the power of this little device. It's unbelievable how much and uh, how quick it was. So if you're in the market for an air compressor, a portable one, I would highly suggest this one right here by Rayevsid because it works very fine. So if you're in the market, consider this one right here. This is it for today's video. Thank you so much.